Wolf Crone, wedged between the Kingdom of France and the Holy Roman Empire, this small European kingdom on the west bank of the Rhine traces its roots to its guardian beast, the wolf. Legend states that long ago, a mythic hero known as the Wolf wielded a holy spear and sword in defense of the land's people and established for them a nation, which now boasts a robust warrior tradition with soldiers widely renowned for their skill. Over their long and proud history, the people of Wolf Crone were at one point absorbed by another nation and split into multiple disparate houses but nevertheless, their bloodline endured. By the end of the 14th century, Lord Philibert IV of Crone rose up with brilliant political savvy and formidable military might to reestablish an independent monarchy over which he ruled as king. Generations passed, and the year is now 1582. King George of Wolf Crone is hailed as the greatest monarch since Philibert. His elite retinue, known as the Silver Wolves, have made a name for themselves, fighting on countless battlefields. With a sword in one hand and a spear flying their banner in the other, the soldiers of Wolf Crone have spent centuries honing a unique fighting technique that honors their legendary founder, the Wolf. And now, a noble young wolf grips sword and spear with pride and honor, eyes burning bright with a determination to lead the people of Wolf Crone into a new age. That's enough. Hilda, that strike to his flank was brilliant. Wilhelm's defense is impeccable, and yet you triumphed. You've reason to be proud. Your skill and dexterity rival that of the Silver Wolves themselves. Any talent I have is only because you spared the time to instruct me, Father. And today's victory is due in part to Wilhelm purposely holding back. Isn't that right, Wilhelm? <clears throat> Not in the least, lady. The battle was fair, your strength true. Wonderful! Then this victory is mine to claim! Nevertheless, from your words and your expression, Father, there is still more I can improve. You praised my skill and dexterity, I take it you find my strength still lacking. A proposition, if I may. On the day that my physical strength, too, is worthy of a silver wolf, will you permit me to wield your royal spear and sword? Even if but for a moment. I have long thought... Now, now, it is far too late to hide. Wouldn't you agree, Garibrand? seem in good humor today, my lord. Princess, Glenzenda Nova and Frisha Himmel are the weapons of the throne itself. You will bear them on the day you ascend the throne, regardless of your own wishes. Hmm. I already know that, old man. But that day is only slightly less than forever from now, is it not? That it is. Which is why you should forget about it and focus on the tasks in front of you. And right now, your immediate concerns are returning to the palace and learning your duties for the memorial service. Th that's true, I must admit. I cannot bring dishonor upon our family. <laughs> true warriors think not of themselves, but of others. A fine attitude. Hilda, I shall teach you a good method of building strength during our next session. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, Father, Master Johan, my duties await. <laughs> Who in the world does that girl take after? My apologies, Johan. Ah, I mean, Sir Durer. 
Johan is fine, my lord. Just like old times. Still, the princess improves at a rapid pace. I expected no less from the daughter of King George himself. I confess, I do not know any other way to interact with her. Training her is my attempt to bond. Moreover, a great part of her skill is due to your superb instruction, Johan. Now then, Wilhelm, how long do you plan on napping in front of your teacher? I am ready. It is inexcusable for the man destined to be captain of the Silver Wolves to show hesitation in battle. I will not give you special treatment, son of my brother or not. I promised him that much. Now, now, your majesty, you cannot blame the boy. I doubt it is easy to fight against the princess. Lord Wilhelm, do you remember what it says in chapter nine of the path to victory? Of course, I can recite every word. As studious as ever, I see. <laughs> I wish I could say the same of my own sons. Now, take up your arms. It has been too long since I instructed you in the praxis of combat. I understand the situation. I swear by my honor, Wolf Crone will aid you in your time of need. Well, in the name of Lord Eckhart and the people of Rauschberg, I offer you our sincerest thanks. This noble act will no doubt see the reputation of both Wolf Crone and its king shine ever brighter throughout the land. Let us dispense with this stifling formality. How could I refuse the man who fought by my side in so many battles, and who is the teacher of my beloved daughter? Moreover, I hear that Lord Eckert is on friendly terms with the Margrave of Baton. The mutual friendship we build today will serve us well in future dealings with the Holy Roman Empire. And when that day comes, the captain of the Rauschberg Knights will be at your side to offer my voice in your support. Gerebrand, once again, I will lead our forces in battle. You must stay behind and mind the castle in my absence. Wilhelm, you shall fulfill your duty as a soldier of the Krone family in the battle to come. As you command, my lord. As you command. <sighs> but my lord, next month is the memorial service. If the war is prolonged, the princess will have to attend it alone. I'll be fine, old man. Father's victory, honor, and safe return will be the greatest comfort he can offer the departed. I'm sure it is what both mother and the prince would have wanted. Do not worry. Assuming our foe's general is familiar with the proceedings of war, peace will return within the month. I will lead the Silver Wolves into battle and end this affair quickly. It's been a month since Father and Wilhelm left for Rauschberg. And yet all I can do is sit here and pray for their safety. that night pierced the heavens. It would later become known as the Evil Seed, an event that altered the destiny of the Wolf Krone Kingdom forever. Malevolent beams of light rained down across the world, spreading misfortune and despair. 
One even found its way to the border of Wolf Krone. The light landed on the very spot that King George and his army were passing through on their way home from war. <clears throat> what should I do? Why? Why would you do this to us, my lord? <laughs> cannot stand against him! No. It's that the Silver Wolves refuse to turn their blades upon him. What loyal member of the King's King retinue would, would dare try to, try to slay him with their own hand? Lord Wilhelm, quickly, you must return to tell the castle. We will buy you time. Above you! Watch out! No! My name's Curtis. I'm a friend. And that grumpy fellow over there is... <laughs> this is no time for small talk. Think of how to stop this guy! <sighs> First he leaps in to save someone without a thought, then makes me clean up his mess. Well, if Gro can't stop him... <sighs> you. Look me in the eye. Huh. You're surprisingly calm considering the circumstances. This blade is coated in an unguent that will put malfested, uh, berserkers to sleep. We'll keep him distracted. You stab him with it. Got it? Me? Stab the king? Curtis! Sorry I took so long. I've got your back. Can, Can I, I really, really do, do this? this? To someone who is like a father to me? it up. Any questions? So these malfested are inhuman creatures transformed by the malevolent energies of the Cursed Sword Soul Edge? Yes, and the Aval organization has opposed them since time immemorial, often with the help of steadfast allies. There was a time in which we counted the men and women of Wolf Krone among them. He speaks truth. This has been a closely guarded secret, only revealed to the King and his closest advisors. The people of the Wolf have been sworn to battle Soul Edge since the time of our forebears. Lady Hilda, Lord Wilhelm, it is time we heard the truth. All of it. As you know, since the Evil Seed, people have transformed into Malfested and run rampant across the land. But this is merely the beginning. <sighs> At the center of this coming storm, 
We will find the wielder of Soul Edge. The Azure Knight. We've chased him this far. Those cut by the Azure Knight's cursed blade will die if they are lucky, and turn into a Malfested if they are not. If he is not dealt with, the calamity he brings will engulf the world. So you're saying my father was wounded by this blade, and is now one of these Malfested? The Azure Knight is mighty indeed, but a man like King George could withstand his power. Likely the King suffered the touch of the evil seed itself. We have used medicines known to the Aval organization to put him to sleep for now, but eventually... Speak plainly, Curtis. Your king has become an outsider. There is no known way to return him to what he was. We have only two choices. Kill him, or put him into an eternal slumber. Grow! <sighs> I apologize for my comrade's discourtesy. The truth is, under normal circumstances, we cannot allow the existence of even one Malfested. However, King George is a monarch, and he has been a vital ally to our organization. As such, it is our leader's wish that the matter of what to do with him be left to the next ruler of Wolf Crone. When I saw the king, he was glorying in the slaughter. Noble, just man we knew. It was not him. Wilhelm, that's enough! We have heard this already. Oh. Chaos has come to this land. Without King George to support us, well, we will have to watch and wait for now, delaying our decision until peace returns. If that is your wish, the Aval organization will do everything in its power to help. That's not good enough. Huh? This is a decision of great significance, and there is no right answer. Regardless, it can only be made by the surrogate of the king acting on their own convictions. That may be true. Still... <sighs> it's okay, Garibrand. This is my duty as Princess of Wolf Crone. Sir Curtis, Sir Gro. Honored emissaries of the Aval organization. I speak to you as regent of the king. He was a sagacious man who brought strength to our land and prosperity to our people. A kind man who taught me all I know of familial love. And so I stand here not just as the princess, but as his daughter, and ask you to spare the life of my father. The people will no doubt be uneasy, with such a young ruler as myself ascending the throne. I ask for time. Time to prove I will be a queen of whom they can be proud. If that resolve of yours is genuine, then very well. But I would decide on a deadline now if I were you. And when that time comes, we will do what must be done. You have my sincerest thanks, Sir Gro. You and the Aval organization both. Listen well. I, Hildegard von Krone, hereby swear upon my honor and my name that we, the people of Wolf Krone, will fight by your side against the threat of the Malfested. Five years have passed since the baleful light wrought its calamity upon the kingdom. Years of war have forged Hilda into a strong and capable ruler, no longer a helpless princess. She has become a virtuous warrior and skilled general. The year is 1586, and the Azure Knight, evil lord of the Malfested, has been defeated by an unknown hero. Wolf Crone savors a fleeting moment of peace but even with their leader's fall, the Azure Knight's vile servants remain. The surviving Malfested are still a clear threat, slowly eating away at the kingdom's strength. No 
matter how many times I see the likes of this, I never grow used to it. I will not allow myself to. Not ever. Though so ignoble pillage may be a natural part of war, this mindless slaughter is beyond the pale. Lady Hilda, Lady Hilda, you've come to save us. Thank you, thank you. Those brutish beasts, they, my sons, they, they were all. Please, I beg you, bring righteous justice down upon them. Fear not, your rage is my own, your wrath now my burden. By the honor of the Crone family, I will see these malfested demons slain. Brutish beasts. Though that they may be, the malfested appear to be behaving differently as of late. They have been forming bands, organizing. Could this mean someone besides the Azure Knight is leading them? Your Highness, the troops are in position and await your signal. Excellent. Proud warriors of Wolf Crone, heed my words. My retinue and I will lead the assault into the thick of the forest. Archers, on my mark. Rain a torrent of missiles down to flush out any cowards hoping to ambush us. Cavalry, to the wings! Circle the fiends and cut off any means of escape. Center battalion, sharpen your fangs and await my orders. All units, advance! No mercy and no quarter for our treacherous foes. I expect courage and valor from every one of you. Acting as this man is hot, and I will cut it out. God, I am delighted at your safe return. Garibrand, my gratitude is always for the warm welcome home. How fares the relief efforts for the region I spoke of in my last letter? My lady, we have secured a place to unload supplies and are sending the first loads of grain as we speak. However, the endless battles have emptied our coffers. We will need support from nearby nations or... Another source of wealth if we are to maintain the army. Noted. But remember, it is not just Malfested who would destroy us. Maintaining the strength of our army is essential. It provides income through mercenary work, and a threat to make potential invaders think twice. I am aware. But the rising costs of our military have been a problem for many years now. I would suppose the import of firearms is the primary burden on our treasury. That and the Silver Wolves, supposedly our country's most elite force, have been unimpressive of late. Am I sensing dissatisfaction with our performance? Lord Wilhelm, I'm glad you heard. As their commander, do you have any words to speak in the Silver Wolves' defense? Not a whisper. Though... 
If I were to speak my mind, I would suggest to stop starting wars over one little village or two. Wilhelm, watch your tongue. What have you done besides shirk your duty? <laughs> you think the royal family's duty is to stand on the front line and risk death? I would prefer that we do not rile our neighbors, nor give them cause to attack. You dare insult Lady Hilda? If you and the Silver Wolves would fulfill your duties, she would not have to risk herself so. My company is under the direct command of the King, not his regent. Perhaps if Lady Hildegard here could wield the sword and spear that symbolizes our nation's power, I would obey her orders. Excuses. To think the man who claims to be our kingdom's greatest spearman is a coward. Stand down, Gerhilda. Lord Wilhelm, while I appreciate your words of warning, the throne is nothing without its people. As regent, I cannot turn a blind eye towards our people's suffering. <laughs> As regent, is it? If you truly cared about our people, war is not all you would pursue. Sacrificing the greater good for a few meager lives is not a trade I think a worthy ruler would make. On the other hand, I despise this kingdom, so please, Ruin it as you wish. Father, how do you feel today? I managed to survive another battle. <sighs> you still remember Mother's name. I'm glad. I brought you dinner tonight. Verst and a small slice of Google Hoops, Mother's favorite. Wilhelm was angry with me again today. He told me to take up Glen Sindanova and Frisha Himmel and become queen. But as long as you live, Father, I've no wish to do so. I used to want to hold them more than anything else. I used to plead with you to let me touch them, even for a moment. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. A ruler should not show weakness. I will return to see you soon. Your Highness, I thank you for granting me this audience. Please, do not call me that. I am Regent, nothing more. More to the point, it is hard to speak with such formalities on our tongues. Let us celebrate this joyous reunion. Don't you agree, Master Johan? It seems we've both changed much over the years. You have grown into a remarkable woman, my lady. And I... Wolf Crone is a dear place to me in many ways. Today, I have come to fulfill a promise I made long ago to aid King George and this kingdom in its time of need. I lead the Hunters of the Evil Sword, a band of warriors I trained myself. 
Will you permit us to fight the Malfested by your side? As you saw, they are elite fighters, the equal of any veteran army company. Ah, so those unfamiliar warriors outside are called the Hunters of the Evil Sword. Those great rents in your armor, what has become of you over the past few years? I fear the tale will not be short, but I shall tell it. In a slow voice that rings solemn with truth, Johann begins to tell his story. Roughly five years ago, from the day the evil seed fell on Wolf Krone, Rauschberg also felt the scourge of the Malfested. Captain Johann and his knights journeyed far and wide, eventually discovering a sliver of hope. The leader of the Malfested was known as the Azure Knight. If all the knights of Rauschberg fell upon him when he was alone, thus did the knights throw away their honor and pride for a desperate fight to save their kingdom, and thus did they fail. With the exception of Johann, every last knight of Rauschberg died that day. The honor he had earned, the companions he had made, all of them gone. Among them were Johann's two sons, still mere youths. I had heard Rauschberg is in ruin. Travelers speak of it, saying bones and ash are all that remain. <sighs> Since that day, I have dedicated myself to revenge. I formed the Hunters of the Evil Sword, training each and every warrior for the sole purpose of destroying the nightmare that is Soul Edge. When I lost my sons, I bid farewell to the weak man I once was. This gash in my armor is from my battle with the Azure Knight. I leave it to remind me of my failure. Sir Johan, I am moved by your tale. Lady Hilda. Of course. Master Johan, I too know your pain. Oh, then you will... Wait one moment. Our kingdom's resources are scarce as it is. We cannot feed a crew of bandits that may not even be worth their salt on the battlefield. What are you getting at? Master Johan, I thank you for accepting this mock battle between your company and my Silver Wolves. No need for thanks. I know how difficult it can be to outfit and maintain a professional army. Lady Hildegard, I know how much you delight in battle. Why not spar with your old teacher? Strange, Lord Wilhelm. That request is most unlike you. Regardless, I have taken an interest in the Hunters of the Evil Sword. Very well, I accept. Now is my 
my chance to... Wait, something's wrong. <sighs> oh, you had a chance to defeat me and yet you withdrew. Why? I sensed you were luring me into that rocky defile. Had I followed, my spear would have been useless in the tight confines. <laughs> the princess I used to know would have leaped to defeat me, despite the unfavorable terrain. It seems you've learned my lessons well. Study the terrain if you want to live to fight again. Still, it was your best chance to defeat him. Our style focuses on tenacity and defense over all else. But the truth is, one must have the courage to leap into danger to seize victory. That is why I could never defeat you when we were younger, right? It seems you have watched me closely, Lord Wilhelm. So, how did the Hunters of the Evil Sword fare against your Silver Wolves? They are Master Johann's students, of that there is no doubt. Individually, each is a better fighter than most of my Silver Wolves, though they are no match for me. Anyone would fall short when compared to the Lightning Lance, Lord Wilhelm himself. Now, if you are satisfied with our performance, there is something I must tell you. I have information. Information regarding the Azure Knight. The Azure Knight has once again appeared in Ostreinsberg. If he regains his power and organizes an army of Malfested... Our kingdom here on the banks of the Rhine will not be spared. Still, his power is yet incomplete, and his force is small. If we are to take Ostreinsberg, there is no better time than now. I need time to consider this. Come with me and tell me everything you know. is permanent, is it? Master Johan, you, everything in this world changes. It is unavoidable, but I believe my heart is made up. If I survive this, I will return. Farewell. Hmm? I thought I'd find you here. You are easy to read. How pathetic. Unable to recognize even your own daughter, haunted by ghosts of your past. And you are no different, Hilda. You may be right. Soon, night will come to this kingdom. A dark and terrible thing, in the guise of the Azure Knight. If our people are to survive to see the dawn, the rightful ruler must assume the throne. Take up the sword and spear of our people, Hilda. You are worthy to wield them. Glensand and Nova and Frisha Himmel are the symbols of the throne. As long as father still lives, it is not my place to bear them. The time to choose has come, Hilda. Or have you forgotten the promise you once made to Sir Gro? Besides, there is precedent. In times of crisis, the warrior best able to protect Wolf Crone has taken them in hand even before their coronation. If this is not a crisis, then what is? Then it is you who are most suited to the task. Wilhelm the Lightning Lance, Leader of the Silver Wolves, your name is spoken of with awe far and wide. Stop with this foolishness! I know your heart! I know the yearning you once felt for that spear and sword! That's why I... <sighs> I 
I cannot agree with this mad plan to assault Allstrindsburg. On our border, instability rocks the Margrave of Baden. France schemes to expand their territory, siphoning away our forces for Imperial interventions. Our problems are national in scope. As long as we remain without a leader to solve them, our kingdom has no future. Hilda, if you lack the resolve to do this, you should renounce your claim to the throne for the good of the people. Regarding the assault on Ostrinsburg, I have a plan. But if something were to happen to me, I would ask that you lead Wolf Crone in my stead. I entrust this key and this seal into your hands. <clears throat> Duh, I hate this kingdom. If you cannot steal your resolve, if you insist on remaining a mere regent, I will take the final step and do what must be done in your place. Your Highness, a question burns in my mind. Why do you insist on leaving the bulk of our forces at home? There is something I must make certain of during this battle, but I cannot say more. I fear I am placing too great a burden upon you and the rest of my bodyguards. We are your loyal shield, my lady. You need not worry about us. Still, I have never marched to war with so few. I know Master Johan and his hunters are fierce fighters, but is the danger not too great? For this fight, the fewer the better. Do you follow Lord Wilhelm's counsel and aim not to rile our neighbors? That is part of it, yes. I understand. We will follow you into the jaws of death itself, if need be. Almost at the Rhine. Our campaign fares well thus far. Thanks to the hunters of the Evil Sword. It is their presence that has ensured our safe passage, despite the harsh road. Unlike knights, we are much lighter armed and better able to fight in close quarters. All that is left is to secure a bridgehead on the... Oh. What's this? Princess! I come with urgent news! <laughs> Garibrand? All forces, halt the advance! Garibrand had traveled by swift horse to deliver grim tidings from the capital. Wilhelm had seized Glanza Nanova and Frischer Himmel, the symbols of Wolf Krone's throne. Worse, he and the Silver Wolves had fled the castle armed for battle and none knew their destination. Garibrand lowered his voice as he delivered the final piece of news. King George had disappeared from his dungeon. Lord Wilhelm has been behaving suspiciously for quite some time. Should we not consider the possibility that he is now our foe and ready ourselves for attack? No, I refuse to accept that. However, it's true that there were bloodstains found in the king's cell. What could have happened? <sighs> if you cannot steal your resolve, if you insist on remaining a mere regent, I will take the final step and do what must be done in your place. We cannot afford to overlook any possibility but it is still too early to pass judgment. Garibrand, return to the castle with all haste and continue to monitor the situation. As you command. Farewell, Princess. May fortune favor you. Whatever path we take, it would be suicide to stay here. I propose we leave sentries and move to a safe location to formulate our next plan. Very well. We shall make for a fortress north of here. 
We will have to pass through the forest, but it is the quickest road. As you command. Still, I worry about dividing our forces any more than they already are. Fear not. Any troops we leave will rendezvous with us before long. We'll leave signs for them to follow. A wise decision. Come, let us make haste before the sun sets, and we are engulfed in darkness.